Hi everyone, welcome to another informative video of NS Pharma. In today's video, we are going to discuss 10 questions from different pharmacies question paper. So these are previously asked questions. I mentioned the name of the question paper in the bracket of each question. So we can start the questions. The first question is Gynecomastia may be the possible side effects of one of the following drug. Gynecomastia may be the possible side effect of one of the following drug. This question is from IMS Kerala Pharmacist 2016 question paper. The options are ketoconazole, bromocryptine, clotrimazole, sulfonamide. You have 10 second time for opting your answer. So please select the answer. The correct answer is ketoconazole. Option A is the correct answer. If you opt the same answer that is ketoconazole, you will get one mark. And for each question, carry one mark. Once the question is over, you can write your mark in the comment session. So the answer for this question is ketoconazole. Gynecomastia. Gynecomastia is a, one of the side effect of ketoconazole. So we have to study what are the drugs which causes gynecomastia as a side effect. So we will study drugs causing gynecomastia. So we have one uh, code for that for studying these uh, uh, drugs. You can study this using keto disco. Okay, keto disco. So what is keto? Keto represent ketoconazole. Here it is ketoconazole. Keto D represent digoxin. Okay, digoxin. Digoxin. E I represent isoni acid or INH. Okay, INH in shortly we will write it as INH. That is isoni acid. Yes, represent spironolactone. Okay, spironolactone. Okay, next one is C. What is C? C is cimetidine. Cimetidine. Okay. C is cimetidine. And the last one O represent estrogen. Okay. Estrogen. So what are the drugs which causes gynecomastia as a side effect? First one is ketoconazole, then digoxin, then INH or isoni acid, then spironolactone, cimetidine and estrogen. These are the drugs which causes gynecomastia. So you can study this using the uh, code keto disco. Keto disco. Okay. Now we are moving to the next question. The question is calcitonin is secreted by calcitonin is secreted by the question is from RRB question paper 2019. So calcitonin is secreted by options are option A parathyroid option B adrenals option C thymus option D thyroid which of the following is the correct answer okay calcitonin is secreted by you have 10 second time for opting the answer the correct answer for this question is calcitonin is secreted by thyroid gland so what is the hormone which is secreted by parathyroid it's very confusing thyroid and parathyroid calcitonin is secreted by thyroid gland the hormone which is secreted by parathyroid is parathermone parathyroid gland secretes parathermone okay parathermone so parathermone is secreted by parathyroid so what about the other options adrenals in the case of adrenal gland there are two types that is adrenal medulla is there adrenal cortex is there okay adrenal medulla is there adrenal cortex is there first of all we will see the cortex outer region so, secretes aldosterone first one is aldosterone okay aldosterone then cortisol cortisol then androgen androgen these are produced by cortex of adrenal gland okay what are the hormones secreted by adrenal gland one adrenal cortex uh, secretes aldosterone cortisol and androgen next one is medulla adrenal medulla adrenal medulla actually secretes what 
adrenaline and noradrenaline okay adrenaline and noradrenaline or epinephrine and norepinephrine so what about the next one next option that is thymus thymus secretes thymosin thymosin okay thymosin thymosin what is the function of thymosin do you know this one thymosin function thymosin stimulates the development of t cells okay t cell we know that t cell is there b cells is there so thymus stimulates the development of t cell okay that is the function of thymosin so what about the calcitonin and parathermon calcitonin decreases calcium level in the blood okay calcitonin is responsible for decrease of calcium level in blood while parathermon increases calcium level in blood okay now hope you got it thyroid gland produces calcitonin parathyroid gland produces parathermon and calcitonin function is decrease of calcium level while parathermon increases calcium levels in the blood okay now we are moving to the next question if the answer is correct you will get the one mark okay now we are moving to the next question question number 3 ergot powder gives blue color which this is very important ergot powder gives blue color which options are benzaldehyde option b para dimethyl amino benzaldehyde option c cinnamaldehyde option d formaldehyde you can select your answer the ergot powder which will give the blue color with which of the reagent the correct answer for this question is option b that is para dimethyl amino benzaldehyde shortly we will write it as dmab okay dm that is dimethyl amino benzaldehyde that is dmab para dmab that is the reagent which gives blue color with ergot powder this para dimethyl benzaldehyde is the constituent of one urks reagent and also in the ehrlich reagent okay in case of ehrlich reagent and one urks reagent para dimethyl benzaldehyde is there so when the ergot powder or ergot alkaloid will react with the para dimethyl benzaldehyde or one urks reagent or ehrlich reagent it will give blue color okay it will give blue color when ergot alkaloid reacts with one urks reagent what it will give blue color okay that is the para dimethyl amino benzaldehyde now we are moving to the next question question number 4 before that one important point this is very very important the ingredient the content chemical constituent inside the ergot is divided into two group that is water soluble group and water insoluble group water soluble group is called ergometrin group oh, you have to see here ergometrin group okay water soluble group water insoluble group is ergotamin group and ergotoxin group okay ergometrin group is water soluble group now we are moving to the next question okay question number 4 the schedule to which list of drugs to be sold on prescription only belongs to options are schedule y schedule w schedule x schedule m you can select your answer the correct answer for this question is option c that is schedule x okay schedule x schedule x drugs should be sold on prescription only so what about the schedule y schedule y related to clinical trial okay it's related to clinical trial okay next one is schedule w schedule w is the list of drugs which are marketed under generic name okay it's generic drug okay they are schedule w is generic drugs okay schedule x you know that is psychotropic drugs then schedule m schedule m is 
GMP requirements. GMP requirements of factory premises. Okay, GMP requirements. Schedule M is GMP. It's related to GMP, good manufacturing practice. Okay, so schedule Y is related to clinical trial. Schedule W is related to generic drugs list. Schedule X is psychotropic drugs. Schedule M, GMP. Okay, one another class or one another schedule which is also sold on the basis of prescription is Schedule H drug. Okay, Schedule H is also, uh, it should also sold on the basis of prescription only. Schedule H drug. Okay, Schedule H and Schedule X drugs are to be sold on prescription only. Since here there is no Schedule H option, so you have to select Schedule X. Both Schedule H and Schedule X should be sold on prescription only. Now we are moving to the next question, question number 5. Drug of choice in amoebic dysentery. Drug of choice in amoebic dysentery is. This is the question for ISRO pharmacist in 2017's question paper. Option A, penicillin G. Option B, Neridazole, option C, metronidazole, option D, tetracycline. This is a simple question, but it is very important. Drug of choice in amoebic dysentery. You can select your answer. The correct answer for this question is option C, metronidazole. Metronidazole is the drug of choice or DOC in amoebic dysentery. Now we are moving to the next question, question number 6. The dose for children can be calculated on the basis of body weight. Okay, the question is based on body weight. Okay, body weight. Option A, Young's rule or Dilling's rule. Option B, Young's rule or Katzel rule. Option C, Dilling's rule or Katzel rule. Option D, none of the above. On which rule we can calculate the dose of the children based on the body weight? The Correct answer for this question is option D that is none of the above. So here all the options are not correct that is option A, option B, option C are not correct. Here the correct answer is none of the above. Now we will see how uh, the children's dose is calculated on basis of what. Okay. We will move to the next slide. Here it is. Method of calculation you can see here based on the age, proportionate to age in case based on age. There are four formulas that is Young's formula, Dilling's formula, Cowling's formula, then Fritz formula. Okay, these are the four formulas which is based on age. Okay, we can calculate the uh, pediatric dose or a child, a child dose of a drug based on the age using these four formulas that is Young's formula, Dilling's formula, Cowling's formula, and Fritz formula. You can use any of this formula. Next one is Proportionate to body weight. That was the question based on the body weight. The correct answer is Clark's formula. The Clark's formula is used for finding out the dose of the child based on the body weight of the child. Okay, then last one is based on body surface area. Body surface area. Based on the body surface area, we use Katzel's method. Okay, Katzel's method or Katzel's formula. Okay, so these are the different methods for finding out the uh, dose of the child okay based on the age based on the body weight based on the surface area based on the age we have four formulas in this four formulas fritz formula you can see fritz formula is used in case of infants in case of infants that is the below one year okay under one year or below one year the Fritz formula is using. Fritz formula is using only for infant. While Young's formula is using for the child up to 12 years. Okay, up to 12 years. Up to 12 years of age, you can use Young's formula. Okay, Young's formula. Okay, hope you understood this one. Now we are moving to the next question. Question number 7. In the limit test for arsenic, the gas which imparts brown stain to mercuric chloride paper is in the limit test for arsenic the gas which imparts brown stain to mercuric chloride paper is 
ऑप्शन आर आर्सेनिक ऑक्साइड ऑप्शन बी आर्सेनिक आसिड ऑप्शन सी आसीनियस आसिड ऑप्शन डी आसी विच गैस कॉसस ब्राउन स्टेन टू मेरकुरी क्लोराइड पेपर इन केस ऑफ लिमिट टेस्ट ऑफ आर्सेनिक द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज आर सी ओके आर सी इज द करेक्ट आंसर हियर दिस लिमिट टेस्ट फॉर आर्सेनिक इज बेस्ड ऑन गुड सेट test or you can say good set method okay this is also important okay good set test okay arsen arsenic limit test is based on good set test okay this method is known as good set test now we are moving to the next question question number 8 10% age weight per weight dextrose means this is a question for rajasthan pharmacist 2012 question paper so 10 percentage weight per weight dextrose means what you mean by des, uh, 10 percentage of weight per weight dextrose option a 10 gram dextrose in 100 ml of product uh, 10 gram dextrose in 100 gram of product uh, anyway option c and option d is also there so you can select your answer the correct answer for this question is option uh, 10 gram dextrose in 100 gram of product that is option b is the correct answer okay option b is the correct answer since it is weight per weight both are in it should be in the uh, weight that is gram and gram here it is ml so the answer is not this one here is also ml the answer is not that one so the answer option b or option c but in since it is set 10 percentage here it is 10 gram in 100 gram of product not 1 gram in thousand gram of product anyway we will see the uh, uh, method or uh, the formula for finding out the concentration that is concentration here it is saying concentration percentage weight per weight is equal to mass of solute in gram or mass of solution in gram into 100 okay hope you understood this one now we are moving to the next question you can uh, question number 9 which of the following chamber of the heart receives venous blood from the whole body which of the following chamber of the heart receives venous blood from the whole body so we know that there are four chamber for our heart in which chamber venous blood is received you can uh, select your answer there are four option right ventricle right atrium left ventricle left atrium this is a simple question from the physiology and anatomy so the correct answer is option b that is right atrium okay right atrium receives venous blood okay right atrium receives venous blood uh, i think there is no need of any explanation here all you know this one now we are going to the next question question number 10 which among the following capsule number represent the maximum capacity of capsule which among the following capsule number represent the maximum capacity of capsule this is also very important question question Uh, many times this question is repeated uh, so you have to by heart this the capsule size and the capsule number anyway th this uh, options are options are uh, 000540 which of the following capsule number represent the maximum capacity of capsule the correct answer is option a that is 000 000 now we will see what are the capsule number and its capacity here in this you can see in the left side capsule number and approximate capacity in milligram in the right side that means uh, 000 capsule number 000 represent 950 milligram of weight okay and uh, 00 represent 650 milligram 0 represent 450 1 represent 300 2 represent 250 milligram 3 represent 3 200 milligram then 4 150 500 so which is the smallest size capsule number 5 which is the biggest size capsule number 000 okay this one you have to by heart many questions already came from this uh, uh, this part capsule number related to capsule number and uh, capacity so hope you understood this certain uh, question you enjoyed the video and uh, thank you very much for watching this video thank you